In Canada, a country where food is abundant, many of our neighbors are being passed over and left hungry. The root causes of hunger are complex and diverse. Unemployment, a sudden illness, child poverty. We can't do it alone, but together we can eliminate hunger. STM. As the video just mentioned, we have a legacy here. But it wasn't always this way. We started Halloween for Hunger in the year 2000. It wasn't our idea, we just borrowed it. We took 30 students, student leaders, to one city block around St. Vincent de Paul and collected about 1,800 pounds, which was amazing. For many years, Neighbor to Neighbor, the, the community center that we help, uh, monthly they have 1,100 families that come and ask for emergency food assistance. So more and more students every year wanted to help out, so we grew and we grew, and we expanded our coverage area, and our impact grew and grew because of the students of STM. Because of the pandemic, Neighbor to Neighbor now has over 1,250 families that visit them monthly for food support. So the need has never been greater. And last year was the first year the Neighbor to Neighbor gave out over 1 million pounds of food to those in need in our community. As the video mentioned, we go to over 26,000 homes all the way to Upper Wentworth. And for six years straight before the pandemic, we collected over 80,000 pounds a year. And in 2019, our record, 86,896 pounds to be exact. To do this, we can't do it with just the student leaders that we have here, which are incredible, inspirational students to me. But you are the true inspiration, STM. This cannot happen without you. We need 900 volunteers. You are the driving force for how successful this has been and will be. Let's check out this video of what the calf looked like in, on Halloween in 2019. I'm Hannah. I'm Layla. And I'm Ozzy. For those of you who have done Halloween for Hunger in the past, you know that this is a massive group effort. As Mr. Morelli mentioned, the need for food has never been greater, and we need your help. To grade 9 students, as you know, you need 40 Christian service hours to graduate, and Halloween for Hunger is an excellent way to do that. To grade 10 and 11 students, your start to high school was rough, including never getting to experience the fun of the traditional H for H night but now is your chance. To sign up, you can scan the QR codes on the, posted on the Seymour ad wall around the school or click the link in our bio uh, in our socials. When signing up, please note that if you want to help only in the CAF, not going on a route, you are signing up as an individual. 
If you are signing up to collect canned goods going on a route, you must sign up with two to four people, including yourself, plus a driver. Now to answer your frequently asked questions. How many hours will you receive for doing a route? You'll be getting 10 hours, two for delivering flyers to your assigned route and eight for Halloween night for collecting canned goods on the same route and helping in the cafeteria after your route is finished. How many hours will you receive if you're just helping in the CAF on Halloween night, not doing a route? That depends on how long you help in the CAF. We will have a sign in and sign out process. For example, if you sign in with us at three and sign out at midnight, you will receive nine hours. Can we do multiple routes? Yes, some groups will be assigned more than one route. If there are two people in a group, you will be assigned one route. If there are four people in a group, you will likely be assigned two routes. However, if there's three people in a group, you will receive routes depending on your grade and how many volunteers we have. Will you get more hours if you do more routes? Short answer, no. <laughs> Can you sign up to go on a route and help in the CAF? No, it's impossible to be at two places at once. However, route volunteers are invited to help in the CAF after you're finished with your routes. What time do we come to STM if we are going on routes? There will be two send-offs because a CAF cannot hold 900 people at one time. One send-off will be at 4.30 and the other will be at 5.30. Can we just hand out flyers? No. If you sign up to do a route, you are committing to going to those houses to deliver flyers and collect donations on Halloween night. Why did I get a text message from Halloween for Hunger? If you already signed up, you may have received a text message regarding Halloween for Hunger. That message was sent out just to clarify what you or your group is doing on Halloween night. Please respond to us if you haven't already. Is it too late to sign up? No, it is not too late to sign up. Signups will be closing this Friday. If we sign up to do a route, what is the next step? Choose who your group leader will be, and they are required to attend our general meeting next Thursday, October 20th, after school in the cafeteria. At this time, you will receive important instructions the flyers, and be given access to your route maps. This meeting will last 30 to 45 minutes. You need help? How can you reach us? You can DM us on our socials or come see us in person in the CAF on your lunch. Is there anything else I can do to help? Yes. Support our raffle sales starting next week and our bake sale on Wednesday, October 26th. You can also help us unload the food at Neighbor to Neighbor Warehouse on November 1st. Please let us know if you're interested. Thank you for your time, STM, and we hope to see you out there on Halloween night.